Each time view contains layers. Each event is on a specific layer. For example, here I have a very simple graphic in layer 1, and here there is another event in layer 2. Then when I select the time view and advanced tab, I can choose which layer is hide or show. I can click on layer 1 to hide events in layer 1 or hide events in layer 2. And you can create your graphic representation by adding events in different layers to hide or show them. In time view, you have also rules. Rules is a way to change your graphic uh, representation from different rules. For example, in this representation, this very simple representation, I decided to create a new analytic properties with different categories of sound in this music. Then I select the first event, go to analytic properties, select my specific analytic properties and this is the first sound attack. I apply this to all events in my representation and then I can change the other sound. Here this sound is fire, this sound is motion, this sound is wave, and there is also another sound here, fire. Then analytic properties is here to classify the sound. Then I can change with rule the graphic properties of event from these analytic parameters. To do that, I select the time view and I click on advanced tab and I select here to add a new rules. I select the rule, open with this button characteristic of this rule. In this window, you have four parts. The first is uh, if this rule is activated or not. In the second part, you decide on which events you will apply the rule. Here it's all events, but you can select events in a specific layer or events of a specific type or events with a text, specific text. You select uh, which parameter uh, will be transform graphic parameter. You have different possibilities. Here it's assign possibilities. You can assign a numeric value, for example, to uh, the size of your event or color, specific color to the color of your event. You have also properties from the event. For example, the duration of the event can change its color or can change its vertical position. And when you add analytic properties, you have also your analytic properties. For example, here, the type of sound. And I decide to change with this type of sound the vertical position. And then the different sounds are classified in vertical position. I can also add another rule. For example, I want to assign a specific color to all events. Then I select color, I choose the color, and I choose a target property, fill color. And then all events are in this color. And then you can add different rules to change your representation.